someone was talented. Yes, yes, yes. We do have some records. Meet the Beatles. Ooh. I just noticed this. This is the Ethan Allen table. I see something good, guys. Oh, oh whoa. All right, what's up, Locker Nuts? <laughs> Back at this unit, this is the $450 unit that I bought a couple days ago. This will be the third time I've been here. Uh, the first day we bought it, went through a little bit. Second day I came back, went through a lot more. And now I'm here to go, well, we're probably going to go through some more. The first thing is, first I got the trailer today. And that means I'm taking any big, junky junk out of here into the dump. So that's going to really get this thing cleaned up. I might even move some dressers. I don't know, see how much I can fit on that trailer. And I'm going to move this stuff so that we can lighten our load, maybe come back with one more truckload. I've got till tomorrow to clear it all out. So... Um, but so far, so good. If you guys miss the other videos, go back and watch them. What are you waiting for? It's a great, great unit. All right. Lots of potential. Already found some gold. Already found some silver. Already found some uh, vintage toys. All right. So there's still a lot of boxes back there. Who knows what we're going to find? Let's get to it. What do you say? All right, looks a little better, doesn't it? A few more trips to the truck with hand, hand cart trips to the truck, anyways. I had to clean the glass up with my hands, that kind of sucks. But uh, luckily, I had some empty boxes for all the glass. Uh, and that's what happens when you don't remember to bring a brush. I have a dustpan, just no broom. So, anyways, yeah, starting to get get a little bit more cleared out, and that feels good. But I'm looking at this thinking. Eh, this might be two trips with the trailer. I don't want to jam the dressers on there and everything. This is going to be, uh, right now, one trip to the dump. So, let's try to get as much on there as possible, all right? And that means i got to go through some of this stuff to try to add to my load. All right, this is books. And uh, the epidemic, the rot of American culture, absentee and permissive parenting. And the resulting plague of joyless, selfish children. Boy, that definitely sounds like an interesting book. Probably should scan some of that to see if it's got any value on Amazon. Otherwise, I'll probably donate that. That's a nice little trivet right here. It's pretty nice. And a little Cook's Club cheese spreaders. All right, let's get back here. Let's see what we got back here. Uh, Peter Pan. Nursery school, how funny. All right, more baby stuff. Yeah, all baby clothes. It's all do donate stuff, donate. Oh. Drawing pads, whoa. Someone was talented. Look at that. That's extremely good. It's excellent. Wow, I'm impressed. What else we got in here? That is fantastic. Hmm. All right. Someone had a real gift. Very nice. Got a pretty decent maple table here, a little kitchen table. Got to find the legs. The legs are in here. That's an easy sale. That's like 50 bucks local, I would say. This uh, dining table right here is actually a little bit better. That's a nice solid wood table. The legs right here, very nice. Um, it might look a little dated, especially with how dark the wood is stained, but um, Janice Cousin uh, paints these. Does a nice neutral gray, looks very modern by the time it's done. They come out beautiful, so shout out to Cheryl. Uh, I think this is gonna be a very nice piece for her. Our actual kitchen table that we own is just very similar to this. Got a little bit more ornate claw feet. 
same type of thing we picked up at garage sale it's an old table that's been painted gray and the top is painted black it looks sharp well i just saw what this said i saw it said stereo but now i see that it says 33s rpms there may be some records in there yeah all right that's got me interested what's this guy the puzzle oh the puzzle caddy huh. how funny put your puzzle on there yeah that's cool Oh, nice. Yes, yes, yes. We do have some records. Sweet. What do we got here? The Supremes. Chipmunks. That's in pretty rough shape, though. Moody Blues. There's the Chipmunk album cover. Let's see what the Moody Blues looks like. Oh, that's in pretty good condition. Fresh cream. Foreigner. Yeah, this is a Bat Medler. This is some decent stuff. We could put this in our auction. The Guess Who. All right. Blood, Sweat, and Tears. Doobie Brothers. Paul Margaret. Puff the Magic Dragon. That's awesome. There's Santana, but there's no album in there. Ooh, I like that one. Mongo Santa Maria. Treat. This is good stuff. Stone Ponies. The Young Rascals. Easy Rider. We just had this one not too long ago. The Band. Hey Jude. Don McLean. These are like all in different. Facing every which way. There's no rhyme or reason to it. Chipmunk Punk. Tim Weisberg. Grease. That's funny because they had the, the uh, songbook. The guitar book or whatever for that. West Side Story and a chorus line. No surprise there. They like their Broadway plays. We've got a few more. Oh, this is great. Four Seasons. Oh, we got some 45s. George Harrison. This is great, you guys. We will... Ooh. I don't know. Mamas and Papas, but look at this. Meet the Beatles. Huh, maybe that's worth something. Arthur, Arthur Toll. John Denver. Nice. The Beatles, though. The Beatles, though. The Rolling Stones, out of our head, that... That potentially could be a good one. Boss Skaggs, Sam Cooke, Chicago, The Four Tops, Linda Ronstadt, Rubber Soul. What? That's the Beatles. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. The best of Eric Burden, Four Tops Live, and Billy Joel. As if we don't have enough records. <laughs> We've been selling records for weeks. We bought that record collection, but we well, got a few more. And there's Santana right there. Very nice. All right, and the stereo that they call it is a Fisher MC715. So I don't know about value on this piece right here. It looks to me like it could be 80s. Ooh, I just noticed this. This is an Ethan Allen table. No wonder it seems so nice. Ethan Allen. Okay, move that out the way, and we have a little coffee table down here. Maybe that's an Ethan Allen, too, if we're lucky. Now we have all these boxes. Let's start digging. Okay, this first one right here says Crystal Candlesticks. And I think that's why I didn't open it yesterday. Because that, just, that does not excite me. That does not excite me. That's just glass. It's decent. It could potentially be silver plate. Onita. Tarnish resistant. That's silver plate right there. Hmm, what's this? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, that's, that's a huge candle. It smells like wax. Weighted silver, I think it's called. It's very heavy. I think it's cement inside or something. Silver plates. Empire. Pewter weighted. 775? I don't know what that says. Huh. Let's see what these look like. These are the crystal ones, I think. Yeah, these are pretty. Mikasa, Germany. Alright. Those are pretty. I don't think they're really worth anything, though, but they are pretty. I'll give them that. I think that's going to do it for this box, guys. I just I don't have it in me. 
that box is just going to get rolled out to the flea market or a garage sale. We can go through that a little bit more carefully. All right, what do we got here? Music CDs and children's books. Blue. Okay, I Spy book, huh? Here's a Disney Mulan. These are actually pretty nice. Very good condition. Doesn't even have the name written in here. I like that. I like that. I see more Disney. I see a lot more Disney. That's good. And then I see some Dr. Seuss here. Those are always good. Um, this does kind of feel like, you know, the books that you think, you know, that they keep at Grandma's house, you know, like the second set of books. The ones that get lightly used only when the kids come over. Oh, that sucks. Okay. There's actually a ton of Dr. Seuss here. That's good. Oh, look at this. Jumanji, huh? Huh. I didn't know that was a book. Oh, look at this. That's good, huh? Disney classics, little, what are these called? I don't know. All right, below that I'm seeing, there's a good amount of CDs in here. Um, all right, well, it looks like the rest of this might all be CDs, if we're lucky. I know it's a little dark, can, can you guys see that? That's good for our auctions. We've not had some CDs in a while, so we'll make some CD lots. And, uh, I don't know about the books, maybe I'll, books haven't been doing super good with our auctions, so maybe the books go on local on Facebook. Children's books are not that hard to sell on Facebook. You put a big lot of them together, you'll get a grandparent that lives in your area that wants to stock up for the grandkids. It's not a bad idea. Shout out to Doug Miller. I found your favorite album right here. You two, The Joshua Tree. Woohoo! Aw, sorry, Doug. So sorry. All right. Keep. This one says. I don't know what it says. Most improved plaque. It right, looks like more keepsake stuff from the kids. Okay, found a little something, something in here. Found some uh, foreign money here. That's good. A little foreign money. There's a little board right here. Odyssey of the Mind. Okay, a couple of dimes. It's 20 cents. And this potato head keychain. And a few buttons here. Buttons for school. Here's another keychain right here. That's kind of cool. You know, we gotta check the cards. You always gotta check the cards. Just in case. Happy birthday. Dang it. We got it here. All right. Oh, okay. This looks like a schoolwork. I see something good, guys. Oh. oh, is that really all money? Oh, whoa. Okay. Ooh, this is really good. Look at all that money. I see some other stuff in here, too. Hopefully it's not foreign coins. There's a little bit of foreign coins there. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a foreign bill right there. All right, you know what? We got a nice little box starter right here. We'll put that right there. We'll go through that later. Hopefully, we've got some older coins in there. That would be cool. I haven't found any older coins in a while. Let's see what else we got in there. Here's a yearbook. Middle school. All right. Middle school yearbooks. I don't know if those really sell. I'll tell you what, I've just sold two, recently, two yearbooks, each for 70 bucks each. Wait, I think they're 60 or 70 bucks each. I don't remember. Um, but I've had some yearbooks sitting on my eBay store for like over two years. Never any action until just recently. I sold two. So, I don't know what's going on about that. That could have just been coincidence, but I was very happy to see that. Next box. Here. That's some kind of a dollhouse. Looks like it's a disassemble. All in pieces. Uh, I don't see any uh, markings to indicate the manufacturer, so huh. I think they'll just be a flea market box. This one says photo frames. That's what it is. 
Alright. Alright, this one's marked pottery and glass. Mm -hmm. Alright. The candle holder. Okay, let's see this. Like someone did it themselves, maybe. Okay, what do we got here? Limited edition Christmas plates. Wait, they're in there pretty snug. The first Noel Metlock's Potteries Songs of Christmas, 1973. Huh. Oh, okay. Well, that's a little bit better, right? This is pretty cool. That definitely deserves to be looked up and researched a little bit. And something like that, we'll put it either in our auctions or on eBay or something. Got, looks like we got a set of them. We've got six. And then what are these? These look like photo albums, but let's make sure. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. It's a garbage bag. Oh. <laughs> you know I love me Kermit the Frog. This is pretty cool. Let's see the age. 1995, Jim Henson. That's pretty neat. All right, yeah, we've had some really old ones before, like in the 70s. That's in 90s, it's not too old, but it's, it's pretty cool. Let's see what else we got. Got Elmo, what's this, Clifford the Big Red Dog or something? 1990, 1992 on Elmo, a little bit older. Okay, got another Sesame, Curious George, it's a dinosaur. I think his head's supposed to go back and forth. They broke it. Nope. Baby Kermit. Oh, Cookie Monster. Her eyes are really worn off. Pirate Kermit. Wow. No, I was getting into all this. Garb Oscar. Another Clifford. That one says Clifford on it. Lovey. Wesley. Is that worth anything? Wesley Bear. I know some bears are. Very collectible, I just do not know which ones. And it's not something I'm terribly interested in either. This is a tie, so is that a Beanie Baby? I think so. Yeah, these are a couple of Beanie Babies. Huh, 2002. I thought it was supposed to have their names on it. Osito. The other one just said Bear. Huh. Alright. Well, we got some decent amount of plush. I'm not sure if that's good or not. <laughs> Next box, what do we got? Okay, now here's some high school yearbooks. I'm going to put those aside. Like I said, just because I have had some recent luck with them. That's 2000. I think the ones I've been selling are around 2000, 2001, 02. I don't remember for sure, but I think that's around the date. These are some more music books right here. All right, guys. We're getting down to it. I was wondering what these two big boxes were. Now I see what it is. Bridal chest. Probably a wedding dress. Maybe uh, mom's wedding dress. And daughter's wedding. I don't know. Or maybe husband's suit or something. I don't, I don't know. It don't matter. We'll, we'll find out soon enough. That's what they were. So we got this box here. And those two right there. Not a whole lot left. All right. We're getting down to it. Unfortunately, like I was really hoping there'd be more to this story. And we're going to learn more about these people. But I really haven't all that much. There's a high school diploma. This is mainly like the grandkids stuff. I see like at least three grandkids stuff in here. So the Ethan Allen table, the nice dresser and stuff. That's probably, you know, something different. But all the boxes, all the stuff seem to be from the grandkids. Luckily, some of those grandkids had some jewelry. Gold and silver included. Uh, that was a good thing, but most of this stuff is like just childhood uh, keepsakes, like uh, diplomas and stuff. So we'll get that back. Whoops, to the owner. There's a graduation robe. Not terribly exciting. Oh man, tons of schoolwork. Okay, here's a shoe box. Yeah, what's this? Uh, yeah, it's nothing. Okay, what's this? Some more yearbooks. All right, welcome to the next level. Yearbooks. All right, someone was in karate. Got a white belt and a yellow belt. All right, shoe box. Nope. Usually, I kind of like shoe boxes. We find 
good stuff sometimes, but not this time. I don't know why people do that. They put the good stuff in the shoe boxes. This is another yearbook, right? Yeah. 1997. Alright. Getting down to it, guys. And more stuff. More of the same kind of stuff, I think. Okay, a couple pieces of wood. Jeez. Here's another yearbook. Okay. Because there are so many grandkids in here, we've got lots of yearbooks. And if the kids want the yearbooks back, they can go to eBay and buy them, I guess. Okay. Ah, this one was marked Garage, uh, but I can already see it is Books. Books, boo. Alright, let's see what we got over here. Yep, there it is. The wedding dress. Alright. First time I found one of those, I thought the dress was blue. Not understanding that was just the window, the plastic window, to protect it from sun damage or something. I don't know. It's worth nothing. Alright, next one. Both boxes look like they're about the same age. Nope, there's another wedding dress. I don't get it. I don't get it. What well, is the grandparents? Actually, this is, if this is the grandparents' uh, locker, maybe that was two of their daughters that got married and said, hey, will you guys hold on to this for us? They said, sure. Sure. Oh, all right, done. Done with the unboxing, not done with the locker. I got all this stuff I still got to clear out of here and get to their proper place, whether that's donate or dump. Well, none of this is dump, but donate or put aside for the flea market or bring home for our live auctions like the records. I was really hoping there'd be better stuff back there. I was hoping that corner would have some treasures. Eh, well, kind of did because yesterday when I was here, we found those jewelry boxes. That was in a box back there. Um, and that's the last thing that we got to go through. We're going to go home and do that still. Um, I like saving those jewelry boxes for the end. It's just, it's fun. Um, and I do think there's some good stuff in there, but we're going to find out. I'll look at it closer. But we've got, um, yeah, we got some furniture in here. Jan's checking with her cousin to see if she wants it. That dresser back there, that tall one, is really nice. This, I think, is a $200 dresser, right? Look at that. It's It's nice. And then that um, table, Ethan Allen, I think that's easy hundred bucks, easy hundred bucks. Um, this bed right here is complete. We've got the footboard and the side rails. And we've got some, the, the coffee table's not really much of anything, but the stools are actually nice. Those are heavy and solid. But yeah, so anyways, we got some decent stuff here still to move, to sell, to make money with. But the real good stuff, I think, is in the jewelry box and the few items that I took home to uh, put in our live auctions. That's the best stuff out of this unit. I was hoping for a little bit more, but that's okay. I really had a feeling like, oh, this is this is going to be old person stuff. Maybe a lot of collectibles in here. The records are really the only thing. And then the toys are from the grandkids. This was a grandkids locker. This is like, I feel like this still is like grandparents put the grandkids stuff in here. For some reason, the parents are blowing it or something and not doing it maybe it's a parent's locker but i just still feel like it was somebody older put this stuff away and um the kids grew up in the 90s so we had 90s toys and that's all right we found some good stuff there um but nothing like spectacular spectacular well anyways let's go home and check out that jewelry box maybe the good the maybe the best is yet to come i saw some potential there but for this as of right now is a wrap in the next video Let's take these on here. Jewelry boxes. One, two, and three. I know that one doesn't look too impressive. This one, the good stuff's hiding on the bottom, and this one's got some potential.